Hi guys, welcome back to Jess Claire Creates. Today I have a Project Life spread and I'm doing the left hand page of this double page spread. So I've printed off my photos and some of them I've printed a little bit less than 6x4 because I knew that I wanted to back them. And I'm going to be working on one pocket at a time in this video. So I'm taking this photo and I've rounded the corners on it because I want a kind of soft rounded look to my page and I'm just backing it onto some yellow tissue paper and it's going to go onto this pink and black spotted card which I think I may have used from the back of the previous um, Project Life page spread so I quite like it when I'm able to do that when I'm able to tie the colours in from the page on the other side. And I'm just cutting out a label that I'm going to use on here and I quite like that I'm um, having a go at doing this video in um, kind of a zoomed in way so that I can see each card at a time. So I've just added a little word sticker on there and I'm adding this chipboard butterfly from the Cocoa Vanilla Studio Wild at Heart chipboard but I've just taken a couple of layers of that chipboard off um, so that it's a little bit thinner. Um, not that it matters because my Project Life album is Chocker <laughs> and I've bought my next album so I'm uh, hoping that I can keep it going just until whatever week is the middle week. <laughs> I have added on a sticker from Pink Fresh and also a little heart embellishment cluster that I pre-made. And for this one, I have printed out um, a Facebook post that my boyfriend made and underneath it, you can see the one that I made and I've just backed it onto a yellow card and I'm adding on a few little embellishments that I had in my stash. So I've got a little banner piece that says happy and that's from the Cocoa Vanilla Studio and a little green star, which I think is also Cocoa Vanilla. And I had punched these little hearts out of the papers that I had left, um, some scraps from a previous one. And the kit that I'm using for this is the Counterfeit Kit Challenge kit that I put together. And I'll link in the description box below the video where you can see my kit. And I explain a little bit more about the Counterfeit Kit Challenge. But I am loving this kit at the minute. It's based on the Felicity Jane Willow kit and I'm just using it for everything. Everything this month has been created with this kit. <laughs> so I'm adding on a um, doily piece of ephemera from the, I think that's Wild at Heart as well, and a little heart cluster to this photo which I've cut down smaller so it can go on this pink card. And I've just cut out a label here and I write on it these two make melt my heart. <laughs> Excuse my head. <clears throat> so I'm just sticking everything down with double sided sellotape and I think that's the end of that card. And this card is a piece of pattern paper from the Pink Paisley Fancy Free paper pad that I had and I just leave that one blank. I like the pattern on it so much and I think I've used it on another spread as well just love it and I have stuck this photo down onto this this is a dear Lizzie fine and dandy card and it this one is definitely one that I used on the other side of the page protector so that's worked out quite well it's got those same pinks and blues and yellows in and I made a tag out of pink and white card but I actually ended up just using the white side of it and I've added on some twine onto there that's another of the Pink Fresh stickers and I've really liked using these stickers so I think I'm going to buy some more of those if I can find them. And adding on another one of those little heart embellishments. I do like making my own DIY embellishments and I put them in a little dish on my desk so that I can just pick from them. And it's just so easy to add them on to uh, layouts and spreads. And for this one, I have sped it up, but I've added on a piece of flair and a little label explaining that we were watching Shrek. And then round the outside, that white border, I've just added all my favourite quotes from the film. This layout I'm doing about three weeks after it happened. So I realised at this point that I didn't know the date and I didn't know what 
else had happened that week. So I'm just looking back at my journal and this is what I've been doing for my 100 day project. I've been keeping a daily journal in my traveler's notebook where I write down, it's about 10 lines every day. So I've been able to look back and I found some things that had happened that week that I didn't have photos of. So three weeks later, I was able to add in more detailed journaling that I didn't have photos for. So I was very pleased with that. And it reminded me what the date was. <laughs> so that's why I was going in and doing my journaling. And now I'm just working on my title card. So I've added some white thickers on for the date. And another one of the pink fresh stickers that says true stories. And the part of the blue doily piece that I cut out from the other card that I was working on. I've just added that on there. Um, so I do like using up things if I've cut out a part of one to use it on the same layout because it just ties it all in together so I added on a little label that I had cut out of some pink paper and a word sticker and then I've just added on an arrow and more tiny punched out hearts <laughs> I love my tiny heart punch so even though I bought a whole tray of punches and I really only use the heart. <laughs> I totally think it was worth it. <laughs> so that is my layout. Do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks for watching.